travellers, I'm Anne's daughter Laliko. Welcome to my gift guide for the traveller in your life if you're not sure what to get them. I've got a few ideas plus some intangible ones but will add to their travel experience. Links for these in the description box below. I don't know where to start. It's COVID time. Some hand sanitizer. I actually received this as a gift. This is a 50ml size bottle. You can totally decant your bigger size hand sanitizer into a smaller bottle. Speaking of these bottles, so you can get these in lots of different sizes. These are just silicone ones. Again, under the 100 mils or what is it, three ounces for Americans? I don't know. Also, some masks. Some airlines don't allow you to wear the fabric ones, so some disposable ones. This water bottle, this I just got recently. I originally just buy it for travel, but since I haven't been far recently, it's become my everyday. This is a 700 mils, BPA free. It's just a sip top. Sorry, then you can just drink out of it. It's very handy because it also comes with a clip, so you can clip it onto, I've definitely clipped it onto my handbag. And then when you've finished it, it folds up to pretty much nothing and fits under this clip. So I really enjoyed this, even just for around the house, just for out and about in regular life. I've been using this skin food, I did make a video about it, so please find that linked in the description box below as well. You can see I'm very close to needing more. <laughs> this does have fragrance, that's the only downside. Otherwise, it is just a very thick moisturizer. There are lots of celebrities that use this, and you can slather it anywhere on your skin. It's not just for face, it is for face and body. This is the bigger size, which is 75 mils. There is a smaller one of 30 mils, so if you weren't sure what your traveler, if they hadn't tried this before, there's also a light one. I think it will be so great for those long haul flights when your skin is dying with dehydration to put this on. The Lucas Pawpaw, this is a very standard item in Australia. I've been using it for years. This is my lip balm every day of my life. But it's also great for, what does it say here? Boils, burns, chafing, cuts, cracks, skin, gravel rash, and splinters and wounds and nappy rash and insect bites. So it does a lot. <laughs> As I say, this is my standard lip balm every day. Something to clean your glasses with. Because I really want a new one. <laughs> I know you can get those little disposable wipes, but A, they're really heavy and there's only like 50 of them in a pack, so I'm like, this is a little bit more, I'm going to get more than 50 uses out of this. And obviously great for sunglasses too. When you're on board, definitely, again with the dehydrated skin, sheet mask as stupid as you look. I've done it so many times, I don't care, I'm never going to see these people again, so it doesn't matter what you think of me. I love these, and of course any Korean ones are beautiful. Speaking of on board, again, to keep under that 100 mils, I have these Cetaphil, this is the lotion and the cleanser, and they are 29 mils. These are the smallest I think they come, or one fluid ounce for my American audience. A friend of mine gave me these years back, and I have just kept refilling them. Cetaphil lotion, certainly I use in my everyday life. It's enough to put in your carry-on. If your luggage goes missing, you know you've got your products, if you've got a layover and it's a long haul, washing your face is incredible. If you haven't got into moon cups or any silicone period cups, give it a go. But this is all you have to carry a moon cup for a decade now. And think of all the waste, all the menstrual waste that I have not contributed to the landfill. Also for on board. I haven't used this yet, <laughs> but it is one of those foot hammocks which a subscriber actually told me to buy. Stuff that you hang it over for us in economy, you just hang it over the seat, the table in front of you and you can pull it tighter and then you just put your feet on it. So it is definitely, yeah, to keep them elevated for those long haul flights, like I just, I bought it going, why have I not had this? I haven't even used it yet. But I'm so excited to use it. And again, it just might be something that the traveler in your life or you have never thought to buy and you don't own. 
but certainly for us here in Australia, New Zealand, long haul, you need all those hours that you are on board. I've had the Bose noise cancelling headphones for years. This is actually my second pair. They're amazing. Amazing. And you can see how small they fit. There's a little USB recharger that comes. They come with extra ears, like the small, medium and large. Yes, it is expensive, but boy, it is game changing. I did have to buy this separately, but I linked it. Uh, it's linked in the description box below to fit in any airlines. Uh, plug enjoy most is that the bat the life of the battery lasts a long haul flight. I have of course toyed up with getting you know the AirPods or the Galaxy Bud, but my problem is they don't last a 14 hours. The cordless ones, then you still have to buy an adapter to be able to make it work in the entertainment center anyway. So I am gonna have these in the entire flight except when I'm in the bathroom or walking up and down. In economy it's a little bit harder on business and first but purely because where you plug this in to where the USB is can be a little bit further but in economy because it's just right in front of you you can be charging this because the the USB port is right in your seat back in front of you so you can be charging it and still be using it in the noise cancelling function so for that second flight so for example you've got to Dubai but you're going on to Europe so you've still got another what four five six hours to go if for some reason in your layover you don't get time to charge it you can charge it on board and still be using it which I don't think you can do with those with the cordless ones because you would have to take them out to put them in the, the thing surely that's it, I haven't used them so I don't know, but also <laughs> for your carry-on, these are merino underwear, uh, they're brand new, that's why they still have the tag on them. I, I have a video about these and ever since I made that video I've been wearing them, but gee, once you've gone merino to then go back to cotton, boy. Ooh. So yes, they are expensive underwear, but they dry so quickly, they're great in the heat, they're great in the cold merino wool it's beautiful and they are so lightweight like when you compare which I do in the video compare to cotton just even in terms of weight you should always take extra underwear on board anyway this is the pair that I've taken out of my carrying on for this video because they are ready for if my luggage goes missing you don't need to take as many with you because they're so quick to dry you can just hang them in the bathroom overnight and they will be ready to go the next day so I am all for merino I also did a video with merino leggings again being in New Zealand we love merino these are the Mons Royale ones and I mean you do, you just wear tights all the time. Such a lightweight option and again because they dry so quickly because they're merino. These are 81% these are merino. I have tried 100% merino before, got a giant hole in them. I have been wearing these for months though and just as tights and also underneath. And I love them. You can get them in all sorts of colours. You can also get three quarter ones, which I'm working my way up to. Again, these are not cheap. I guess being in New Zealand, I'm very aware of this at the moment. You need to carry a bag with you. If you do any shopping, there's no bags here. So you need to bring your own. Of course, you can have the canvas ones because we get them with, oh, I have so many canvas ones. Despite not owning much stuff, I seem to have a lot of canvas bags. But the smaller ones that, yeah, fold up and come in its own little packaging here is perfect. Plus, this one has a clip so I can just clip it on to whatever I'm carrying out for the day. And then if you happen to buy anything, then you've got a bag. I've also used this when the weather has started to crumble. I have also used this on you know the water rides at theme parks <laughs> because I don't want to get my hair wet I have seriously in like a log ride I have seriously put this over my head just for that end splash because this particular one yeah it's not canvas so it's gonna it's not waterproof but it is a little water resistant and it's done beautifully and yes when I've come out without a coat and the heavens have decided to open yeah I've definitely worn this bag on my head so it does multiple things. <laughs>
Right, my more expensive items. Well, aside from this piece of clothing, this year I bought this cashmere top. It's just a turtleneck and it's just in boring black. Gosh, I say that as I'm sitting here in boring black. Just a little bit warmer than merino wool and it's lightweight as well. Yes, it's a bit of a faff because you think, oh, I've got to dry clean it. That's hopeless for travellers. No, these ones you can just throw in the washing machine. I do put it in, well, I call it a bra bag because every week I will wash my bras in those little, you know, net bags. And I, I've put this in. I've made a video about this, so that's also linked in the description box below. Yes, it is more expensive. And even though I've only now worn it through one winter, it has been amazing. And this is a so lightweight, so warm. I got this from Lily Silk at the moment. They've got their Black Friday sale. Ooh, speaking of Lily Silk, because of their Black Friday sale, I did order a silk pillowcase which I've never had before so there will be a forthcoming video about that but I'm very excited for it to arrive. Right, my other suggestions are more expensive. You could be really boring and just give cash. Everybody loves American dollars so that's always an option. <laughs> Priority pass. I have had it before. The membership has ended for me and because effectively we can't leave the country at the moment because we can't get back in. So I think for me at the moment it's useless, but I'm definitely going to buy it again when we can leave. When we can come, when we can leave, and when we can come back. Especially for those long haul flights, being able to have a shower at wherever your layover is has been amazing. And it is, it's for people like myself, where you don't fly enough in a year to earn, you know, up to gold status or whatever the equivalent of gold status is on the airline but you still want to be able to use use the lounge telling you in those moments of being super tired and just ugh, still got how far to go on the next flight oh man it's worth it it's a year subscription then you know do plot out and check out the website first i've got a link in the description box below Check it out first to see where you're thinking of going because the variety of lounges does, yeah, because sometimes they are secondary lounges, sometimes they're not the airline lounge themselves. For example, here in Christchurch, it's the Emirates First Class Lounge, it's the Qantas Gold Lounge, it's also Priority Pass. It is closed right now, but they, it, it does all of those, so I get in with Qantas and I also get in with Priority Pass. It's still the same lounge. The ones in China are shocking. Uh, yeah, sometimes they're a bit hit and miss and I have definitely read blogs about in the States domestically. Oof, again a bit hit and miss. They are trying to make more restaurants available and I feel like Priority Pass is always evolving. They're always getting new lounges on board in different places which is fantastic and yeah I've definitely used them I'm going to buy it again I just don't have it right at the moment because I'm not going anywhere internationally this is so sad uh, the same in Australia there aren't too many lounges the thought for an intangible gift is the subscription to a VPN I myself use ExpressVPN the links are in the description box below you pay 99 US dollars for one year with the link in the description box below you get 30 days free so you get 13 months I've bought the subscription for years firstly when I went to China but then in any airport in any public Wi-Fi you can have I think it's up to five devices and can share it across the family as well with the one subscription so I think it is a really nice gift idea but I definitely think that these intangible gifts where you're not burdening them with stuff you could always ask them what their preferred airline is and buy their miles with that particular airline and because of course then you can transfer you can upgrade so just even buying whatever and because it comes in various denominations thousands of points that then yeah they can use to redeem um, miles or they can transfer it to another airline within that like if they're one world or if it's sky team or giving them cash to be able to pay for a covid test i think because i just looked it up this morning <laughs> and going sorry how much <laughs> how much do you want for a damn test 
Well, uh, because New Zealanders haven't had to do it, then we're a bit removed into realising how expensive these tests are because it's not just the free ones that you can do the pop-ins to. It has to be one that gives you the correct documentation. A couple of hundred dollars for that wouldn't go amiss either. <laughs> or even a contribution toward a COVID test. Oh, this is to pay for your COVID test to come back into the country. That is absolutely really, really useful for our current climate. Well, I hope you found some really great ideas. So please feel free to share this video going, oh, I want this to whoever's buying you or struggling to buy you something. Have a great holiday season. Stay healthy, stay well. We'll see you in the next one.